From poking fun at the least practical life hacks on the planet to rubbing elbows with the Hollywood elite, TikTok star Kabi Lame has had a meteoric rise to fame, even if most of his fan base has never heard him utter a single word. Kabi Lame's fame has changed his life, but that's not necessarily the driving force behind his decisions. He told CNN, I don't care if I'm first or second or fourth most popular on TikTok. Lame went to explain that he started uploading videos to TikTok in hopes of bringing a little laughter during the height of the pandemic. He added, And I keep making videos with the same ideals. I'm happy about my accomplishments, but those are not my main things. He is ambitious, though, and has embraced the opportunities offered to him, including working on a campaign for McDonald's FIFA World Cup 2022. Fans of Kabi Lame should know where he comes from and how he feels about the country he now calls home. He was born in Senegal and relocated to Italy as a toddler with his family. While it would be difficult to determine his mother tongue from his videos alone, being that they are silent, Lame speaks fluent Italian. Yet despite living in the country for most of his life, it was a long and complicated journey for him to achieve Italian citizenship. In a 2022 interview with Time, he admitted, I believe it's a very normal thing that people who've always behaved well and who live according to the law should get Italian citizenship. At the time, he was not yet a citizen. He had a passport instead, but was on his way. A month later, his citizenship was officially granted, AP News reported. However, Lame didn't need to take an oath to know who he was. In 2021, he told the New York Times, Sincerely, I don't need a piece of paper to define myself as Italian. As OG fans of Kabi Lame will no doubt remember, the TikTok sensation's earliest videos featured his voice, though you'd be hard-pressed to track one of those videos down these days. Kabi Lame's typical online content is created without dialogue, and given the nature of his videos, it's easy to see how that's been the foundation for his success. By not focusing on one language, Lame has a universal appeal. There are no language barriers, allowing people worldwide to enjoy his humor. Speaking of his decision to stay silent on TikTok, Lame told CNN, I came up with the idea because I was seeing these videos circulating, and I liked the idea of bringing some simplicity to it. I thought of a way to reach as many people as possible, and the best way was not to speak. The type of gesture came by chance, but the silence didn't. This simple is, is funny, and uh, the, the, the people starting, uh, starting laughing uh, about uh, my, my expression. Kabi Lamy's rise to fame happened incredibly quickly, and he has been fortunate to have the support of his nearest and dearest, even though it took them all by surprise. Back in 2021, Lamy revealed in an interview with the Italian publication Corriere, Just like me, both my parents didn't expect this and are overjoyed. I hope to continue like this. The following year, Lame gave some insight into his upbringing when speaking with CNN, revealing that his parents were always very supportive and didn't pressure him into doing any one thing. He explained, My parents didn't have any set idea of what they wanted me to become when I was a child. The important thing is that I was happy and had a good job. With an estimated net worth of $15 million, we'd say he definitely succeeded in securing a good job. With Kabi Lame's status as a top content creator and the fact that he rarely utters a word, the interest in who he is and what he's all about has only increased. Thankfully for fans, an autobiographical film about his life has already been made. I Am Kabani, a short film Lame created in collaboration with his friend, Adriano Spadaro, shares a behind-the-scenes look into Lame's life, beginning in childhood and ending in the current day. Of the film, he told Deadline, over the course of a few minutes, we told an entire life until now. It means a lot to me. Some things can be conveyed without words, but I wanted to tell my story, and I couldn't do that only with gestures. In summer 2023, Lame made his directorial debut at the 2023 Tarmina Film Festival. His inclusion in the festival was important, which is something festival co-artistic director Barrett Wisman was aware of. As he told The Hollywood Reporter, it is imperative for us to always be developing younger, fresh audiences through new media. Cape helps us to bring diverse, young, international, and Italian fans to our historic festival. Kabi Lame is a sharp dresser who can rock casual wear just as well as he can a suit. In 2021, he showed the world he has what it takes to model, walking the runway for the Hugo Boss and Russell Athletic Show in Milan, Italy. Speaking of the event, Lame told GQ, It was super exciting to see the reaction of the audience and on social media. This is just one fashion opportunity that has opened up for Lame since becoming a megastar. Lame has also collaborated with Hugo Boss for a limited edition capsule collection, which was released in 2022 and coincided with one of the most prestigious events in fashion, Milan Men's Fashion Week. 
Lame has also appeared in the spring slash summer 2022 Be Your Own Boss campaign and was invited by the brand to visit Dubai alongside actor Lucien Laviscant, model Patrick Schwarzenegger, and Italian tennis star Matteo Berrettini, as Women's Wear Daily reported. Having dyslexia and dyscalculia made traditional learning more challenging for Kabi Lame. However, his openness about his struggles has brought awareness to the conditions. The Dyslexia Initiative praised Lame in a social media post in 2022, writing, Let's celebrate Dyslexic Hero Wednesday two days early with Kabi Lame. We've all seen his videos. We've all laughed at the simple way he tackles tasks made too complex. This is the Dyslexia Revolution. Although Lame's humor has made him a star, he showed his comedic abilities from an early age, and it's helped him in many ways. He told Icon Magazine, I always like to laugh and make jokes and tease everyone a bit, classmates and teachers. But at the same time, I was a shy kid. I still am. Strange, isn't it? I had difficulties because of my dyslexia, but I always found a way to cope with it. Lame has not let dyslexia or anything else hold him back from achieving what he wants. This includes his desire to learn a new language, and he has been dedicated to his English lessons. In a 2022 interview, he told Forbes, I'm currently studying English. It's fun, and I'm learning fast. In the same interview, he admitted, I have big dreams and will not stop until I have reached them. What I'm doing now is also a dream coming true. It's just uh, me. <laughs> it's just me. Before Kabi Lame was catapulted into stardom, he had what many would consider a very normal life. He has experience in several fields and has worked multiple odd jobs, from bricklayer to dishwasher to waiter. In an interview with Icon Magazine in 2022, he explained that he took such jobs to support his family. His final job title, before becoming a TikTok star, was a machine operator in Turin, Italy. However, he found himself laid off because of the pandemic. While this would have undoubtedly been one of the most stressful times in Lame's life, it paved the way for him to start something new. Although Lame is enjoying his viral success, it has been an adjustment. He told the publication how it was an indescribable feeling when he achieved over 100 million followers on TikTok. Kabi Lame speaks about his family, especially his father, with great affection. He told Icon Magazine that his dad was his very first follower, explaining, he has always supported me. He watched my videos even when I uploaded them to YouTube as a kid. His fame has grown tremendously in a short amount of time, making him the megastar he is today. You may think such changes would make him lose sight of who he is or alter his goals, but Lame appears to have remained humble. This could be because of the people who he surrounds himself with, including his family. When asked in an interview with Mashable how his family views his fame, Lame revealed that his life had changed in several ways, saying, I'm always traveling, and I love it. My family is very happy for me. Every now and then, I take my brother traveling. Soccer, or football, depending on where you're from, is a passion of Kabi Lame's, and his love of the sport has changed his life in several ways. This includes helping him connect with his manager, internet personality Alessandro Rijo. He recalled how they met, telling Forbes in a 2022 interview, I've always been a big football fan, and one day, I was watching some Juventus players play video games live on Twitch with Alessandro. At the time, he was starting to make content and did not have anywhere near the fan following he does today, but his persistence with his messages in Rijo's chat got him noticed. Fast forward to the present day, and his fame has allowed him to take his love of football to a new level, including meeting and collaborating on a video with legendary soccer star Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The influencer has also been able to play with sporting greats like Roberto Carlos. In an Instagram post in June 2023, Lame shared his excitement, writing, there is no phrase to express how I felt when I was sitting in the living room and comes running my friend and tells me, we received an email, but you will not believe it. You will go to play a soccer game and you will be the only non-pro to play with the legends.